Only 12 more months till Christmas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this Melina's. I gotta get it off my head. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to get out of debt and have a more financially sound life. And if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you'll be alerted every single time I upload. Oh, Christmas is over. Finally. Now we can get back to normal. Oh wait, I gotta do the end of the month budget update. So let's just jump on in. Today we are talking budget for December. How'd we do? Meh. Could it be better? Sure. But could every month be better? Probably. The very first category is utilities. In our utilities category, we have two things, our cell phone and our storage unit. And if you need to know why we have a storage unit, I'm going to link you right up here to the eye in the sky. And that will explain everything. So our mobile phone was right on par. It was like a few cents difference at 188. And then our storage unit is $270. Utilities are what they are, and we're almost never over on those. In transportation, the we only had budgeted $30 in gas, and we ended up spending $42.07 because we filled up one of my parents' cars that was empty when we needed to borrow it. So we went ahead and put gas in it. And so we were $12.07 over this month in transportation. But outside of that, those are the only charges we had. So insurance and tax, we that is generally pretty standard. However, this month it was not standard. We had a lot extra in this category. And I think I jinxed myself when I was like, yeah, it's impossible to go over budget on insurance and tax. But yeah. It wasn't our USAA insurance was the same as it always is, 169. Our CMFG insurance was $12. My life insurance was $91. Mauricio's life insurance was $35. And then we were over because I did a video previously about this giant tax debacle that we are going through. And I'll link that up right here for you. We're going to have a lot of linkages this month. Um, we ended up paying our CPA $519 to redo our 2015 taxes. It was an absolute necessity. We were over by almost $520 in the insurance and tax category. Yep. So for future reference, you can go over on insurance and tax. So in the Molina category, we had our standard before and after care at $590. We did not use her school bucks. She still has like $28 in her school bucks account, but when it goes below 20, they will charge us. So that will definitely be coming in January. And then we did not use anything for the miscellaneous school expenses, so that was zero. We had to pay for winter camp, unfortunately. Doesn't matter how long school is. There's no pre-rated before and after care. So we ended up paying the full $590 for before and after care, and then an additional $424 for two weeks of winter break camp. Melina is ready to go back to school and see all of her friends who have been on vacation. We did end up getting Melina's snow boots for $84.80. I was able to get a pair of the Boggs boots. Um, I actually, Tiffany over at Simple Wife, Simple Life, who I absolutely adore, pointed me in the direction of some much cheaper version of Boggs boots, but I had already bought the Boggs for Melina, so, and they were on their way by the time she pointed them out to me. And then several of you told me there were cheaper places to get them. But again, I had already ordered them by the time I had gotten those messages, so darn. But she loves them. It's already snowed three times here, if you can believe it. And so she is wearing the heck out of them. We were going to give them to her for Christmas, but we ended up giving them to her early because of the first snowstorm. And so I, it was a great investment. And we did buy them uh, about one size too big, and we'll just put double socks on her so she can wear them probably two years, hopefully. This child is growing like a crazy thing. And so I'm hoping 
we'll be able to wear them for two years. But in this area, the brand brand name kid stuff is real easy to resell. So I have no doubt I'll be able to sell them for a decent price. She grew again and several of her shoes didn't fit and she had no dress shoes. So we ended up buying her two pairs of dress shoes, a little pair of gold tenny slash dress shoes they're super cute and then a pair of black ones also and those shoes were 79.60 and again i realized that i spent a lot on them but brand name shoes in this area will resell very easily so i buy the higher quality shoes like keens and hannah anderson and all of those that that real sell, resell really easily here so this one was supposed to be a christmas present melly grew no joke like this much i i'm i kid you not over the last several weeks and none of her leggings, her leggings are all now like calf leggings as opposed to ankle leggings. And so I found this place on Etsy that makes their own leggings and they had mermaid leggings and oh my goodness. So, and they had unicorn rainbow. Oh, so cute. So I ended up ordering two pairs of leggings on that site I bought them slightly big. So they'll be a little loose for a while, but I think she'll grow into them. And that was $76, but that charge has not come through and they didn't get here in time for Christmas. So I moved them from the Christmas budget, which was already redonkulously over to this month's budget, but it's going to get moved to the January budget because they haven't even charged me for them yet. So they're custom made, you know, some lady out of her home makes them. So I get it. Christmas time, super busy. So cash is fine. We did fine with our cash this month. I'm loving my new wallet system. And I'll be talking about that more next week. Next week? Yeah, next week, I think. When I get our cash out, it'll probably be another car video because, you know, it'll just be quick on the fly. I'll go over exactly what we had left, which was nothing. Just so you know, we had no cash left. I plowed through it. We did have an additional cash expense that was not planned initially and that was a Christmas present for Melina was monogramming some t-shirts to make them super custom and they were cute so um I love the way they turned out I'm gonna get some more stuff monogrammed down the road so yeah I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it so in our recurring annual fees there were no changes this month everything was spot on we did have our Amazon Prime charge and our Amazon Music, Skype, Audible, Weight Watchers, and all our iTunes charges. And yes, those are pretty much expected, pretty much standard every month. Nothing really exciting about those. And in my YouTube category, I had forgotten my annual fee for Undeaded. I do pay for the annual fee um, for that because we do a custom snowball order instead of just the typical snowball, we do a custom payoff order. So unfortunately that requires me to pay $12 a year to use the service. I don't mind paying $12 a year to use the service. It's not really necessary. I will tell you that you can hook it up to your bank account if you want. I don't. I just use it so I have the custom payoff order. And that's just because we're doing a weird way to pay off. So um, I do pay $12 a year for that. And that, that came up this year and I had forgotten about that. So, but outside of that, you know, two buddy 450 backblaze at five. Umi downloader was $39.99, which is a lifetime service and I will never have to buy it again. Morning Fame was three forty three, dollars and that, so we went into this month with no medical expenses, and then a little way through the month, I realized that I had forgotten that Mauricio had a dentist appointment, and so we, we did get hit with a $69 copay for that, which is fine. He needs to go to the dentist. We, now that we have a dentist, we will go back to the every six months dental stuff, but we are out of that huge dental expenses nightmare that we were in a little while ago. So for work expenses, I had initially only planned $22 for parking. We did not pay any of that this month. We did not have to pay for parking. The couple of days that Mauricio drove in separately, there was a free parking lot that was open. It's normally a paid parking lot, but I guess during the holidays, they decided to make it free. And so we didn't have to pay anything. And that was lovely. I did buy a day timer for work and that was $65.23. And yes, I realized there are less expensive day timers, but well, I use a very specific 
Franklin Covey Daytimer and I take notes in it and I put details in it. And, and so I am very, very specific about the way that I store it and care for it. And, um, so it is slightly more expensive. And then I bought some supplies for my office for 1187 and hopefully the daytimer and it, I mean, right as of right now, the daytimer and the office expenses will be reimbursed, but I haven't gotten the money yet. So who knows? And then in our sinking funds, it was the same $725 that it always is. Um, we put 150 to medical expenses, 100 to car repair replace, 100 to Christmas next year. So we're already ahead for Christmas next year. Uh, 50 for an emergency trip to Columbia, 25 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina, $100 for summer camp this summer, 100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th wedding anniversary that we probably will not use but we might, you never know. So uh -oh, in our online expenses, we definitely, definitely went over a bit, um, a lot. I always go over in this category. Things just always come up. Do I need them? Probably not, but you know, it is what it is. If you wanna hear more about what we spent online, I'm gonna point you to this video up here in the eye in the sky, and I walk you through those expenses in detail, and yeah. It, it was a little bit more than I expected, but not too bad. Okay, and our next category is our cushion category. And yes, we were, as the name implies this month, we normally set aside $100 for our cushion and we spent that $100 and just kept on going. I mean, like right on to the finish line. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna justify it. It just is. Oh, toothbrushes and toothpaste. We spent that for $15.97. The reason we didn't pay cash for it is because Mauricio got it and he doesn't carry the grocery money and we were not together. And we ordered Popeyes one night um, and had it delivered Uber Eats and that was $25.14. Mauricio had some footage this month. Not smoothies though. If you've been around for a long time, you, you, you know about smoothies, but no, this was just footage. Um, everybody was going out this month and I mean a lot in his office and he ended up going out because it was the right thing to do. And so we dealt with it. So Mauricio did go to Starbucks a couple of times this month for $12.57. I ran out of thank you notes and so I had to get some of those and they were $20.21. Why were they so expensive? Because I buy them in huge, ginormous quantities. Um, I have always bought them in big quantities and so I won't have to buy thank you notes for a while. But I am very old school when it comes to that. I do write thank you notes always, always. That's just the right thing to do. And then I did talk about the Christmas dress, the piano recital dress in my online budget, which I linked previously. And all of that, I mean, all of it, the two dresses, the one sweater, hair bows, slips, tights, you name it. I think there was a pair of white monkey bar buddies for under her white dress. That all cost $153.96. I ended up getting two extra tickets to the National Cathedral for my sister-in-law and her husband to go with us as well. I did talk um, briefly in my online about my curling iron dyeing. So I won't elaborate on that yet, but my curling iron died. And I'm really enjoying my new curling iron. It, it gives you, as you can see, like more relaxed curls, which I really like. Um, I'm not like Wendy Big Hair anymore. We contributed to a GoFundMe $20. And then, of course, there's always a dollar processing fee. One of the people at Molina School, their spouse died. And so we went ahead and and, you know, Educators don't have enough money and funerals are expensive, so we could contribute $20 for that for sure. We spent, and when I say we, I'm for this one, I'm using it loosely because Mauricio went to Five Guys. I don't remember eating a Five Guys hamburger. I'm pretty sure I would know if I did. Uh, he spent $15.44 there, which means he got a hamburger, a large fries, and a big milkshake because I knew my husband. 
I went to this restaurant in this very nice area and they did not take cash. Yeah. So that's all I am going to say about that. So that meal was $52.52. I will not be going back. And I talked to the owner, the namesake of the restaurant. He came over. I let him have it. It, it wasn't pretty. So the next three were work lunches out from Mauricio at $16.78, $18.33, and $22.33. So... Um, they were Christmas things, all three of them with various people. And so then the next category in our budget is our Christmas category. And I did a whole video on how we did that. And I will link that one up in the eye in the sky as well. And yes, I realize that's like the 18th eye in the sky I've linked. So y'all are going to be watching my videos for days, but hopefully you've already watched them and you will already know. But long story short, we were a little tiny bit over on the Christmas budget, but really not bad. I was... I was pleased with the way it went for sure. And then as you all know, in our last category, our debt, we paid off another debt. Woo woo. I know that's debt number two down and I am super excited. So we paid $7,221.92 to debt this month at Christmas time with a lot of other stuff going on. So it's not affecting us this month. We somehow managed to make it flow all through November and December with the flat tire, replacing the tire nightmare, and then with the tax nightmare, but it is going to be biting us in the butt in January. So you are going to see a much lower debt payoff in January, but hopefully February will be back up to where we were this month. And so, yes. <sighs> We are still on the process and I gotta admit, I'm a little frustrated, a little, a little tired by Mr. Ramsey's program. I know I, I like to maintain a super positive outlook, but sometimes this program is hard and sometimes I just want to, you know, go out and buy the things I want to buy, but I'm not going to because someday I will, I'll be able to buy what I want to buy when I want to buy it. Although I did some of that this month. <gasps> yeah, we're not going to talk about Melina's Christmas dresses. So, so in case you're wondering, I have been kicked out of my studio and I am currently filming in my bedroom. Why? Because we have house guests from Columbia. Marie, one of Mauricio's childhood friends is here and they are staying in the guest room and so I am filming in here real quick while everybody's out of the house except for Melina. So yeah, if you're noticing more wrinkles and old lady stuff, this is the difference of Wendy on natural light and Wendy on a big lamp here. Let me show you. See that? I have a huge lamp over here. Natural light is fantastic. I love natural light and it makes, it hides this. Look at this. Oh, oh, I look so old. Oh, anyway. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This one up here is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Ow.